Does the tip of your knife cut like this? Or this? Well, hello, thanks for joining me today off the stone here. I've started a series of 30 different sharpening videos to help you to hone your craft. Two of the hardest parts to sharpen on a knife are the heel and the tip. Today, we're gonna to focus on the tip. And why is the tip hard to sharpen? Well, it does depend on your knife, but if you're trying to sharpen like a chef's knife or anything that has what is called a belly, they can be hard to sharpen. So here is the heel of your knife and here is the tip. The belly is where this curvature happens right here. So if you have any knife that has this curvature, it's going to be harder to sharpen than let's say a Warncliffe style knife or something that has just a straight edge. And I'll show you a Warncliffe style knife right here. Very awesome little Warncliffe pairing knife. This is a Man and Knife Company pairing knife. Highly recommend this. It's definitely one of my favorite paring knives and it is the best apple peeler I've ever used. When sharpening a chef's knife, if you use the same angle on your heel all the way down to your tip, you're gonna miss this belly or this curvature towards the tip of your knife. You have to adjust the angle to compensate for that belly. So I'm gonna change the camera angle and actually show you how to do this. And actually I'm gonna show you two different techniques. I'm gonna show you where the stone is right in front of you on a surface and then I'm gonna actually show you a stone in hand technique as well to try and accommodate whatever style of sharpening you use. The first technique will be if your stone is right in front of you and you're sharpening your knife. So as I said, if you use the same angle that you use on the heel of your knife, so let's say I'm using my heel, I start on the heel of my knife, and I slide this knife all the way across, and I keep that angle, I'm going to completely miss this, the tip of the knife and the belly here. So how do you compensate for the belly of this knife? Well, what you're going to have to do is find the angle. If you struggle to find the angle for sharpening, just watch my video, Five Tips to Instantly Find the Angle in Knife Sharpening. What you'll do is, once you find the angle, run the knife across, and this belly kind of starts right towards the middle of the chef's knife, or more towards a little past half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the angle, and I'm going to start lifting the knife. So lifting towards the tip, or lifting the heel of the knife up after I get past the halfway point to compensate for that belly. So I go like this, and I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. And how much do you lift it up? What you'll have to do is whatever friction you feel towards the heel of the knife, you're gonna have to make sure that that friction feels the exact same down the whole knife edge. And you'll know if you're not hitting the edge of the knife, because the friction is gonna feel completely different. You're gonna feel like you have no resistance if you're not hitting the tip of the knife. See how that sounded the same? So you can hear it in the sound and you can test it by the feel as well. If you do that properly, you will make sure that you hit your whole knife edge evenly, which is exactly what you want. Consistency is key when sharpening a knife. Now for those of you that sharpen with stone in hand, obviously you want to be careful when sharpening with the stone in your hand. It's a little bit more dangerous than if you're just gliding your knife across a stone when it's on a surface. But if this is your sharpening technique, I find the greatest trick to actually being able to hit the whole belly of the knife, if your knife has a belly, is to actually start with the tip. And what you're going to want to do to make sure that you're hitting the right angle is actually close the gap between the stone and the knife edge. So what you can do is put your knife on the stone and raise that angle until you see no gap between the knife edge and the stone and then start on that. And as you do that, as you do that, just turn the knife to hit the rest of the angle. And that's gonna help you to be able to actually hit that now, you could use the same technique if you started on the heel 
And what you want to do is make sure you're going to lift the knife as you get down towards the belly of the knife right here. If I didn't do that, this is how it's going to look. So I'm essentially not hitting barely any of that tip there. But if I lift the knife, I'm going to actually hit that. So that's, that's my trick with stone in hand. Start with the tip, because then you're going to hit it. You don't have to worry about compensating if you start with the heel. As always, I hope that helps and I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this content, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more content coming.